if you want to take a look at, we'll go over here. I'll take a look here. Uh, internal and external. Internal and external oblique loading takes a look at putting that belly either to the medial line or to the lateral line of the body. And again, if I load up a few pieces of load, now each one of those are about half a pound, 200 plus grams. I've now loaded the majority of that load on the inside of the leg. And as soon as she goes to move, she's gonna notice that emphasis, possibly to stop or inhibit or enhance a certain type of rotation. And the opposite, of course, is external oblique loading getting the belly of that load to the outside, and that can apply anywhere on the body. Proximal loading for speed, distal loading for power and strength, and medial or lateral oblique loading for movement specific. And the last one is what we call a neutral pattern. If you just want to get a lot of weight onto the suit, you simply alternate. You see belly to tail, belly to tail, so it kind of creates a uh, neutral pattern that doesn't disturb mechanics. The other thing too is, posterior and anterior. You can load at the back, you can load at the front, you can literally load that thing anywhere you see black. And the last thing on these loads is, you notice our Velcro system, which is a patented unique system of this whole exoskeleton, this thing is designed to stay on. It's not going to come off, it's not going to come off at high speed work or contact. If it does, it's going to be pretty rare, but we spend a lot of time getting that design right. So make sure when you put your loads down, just seal them down, tail to tail. There's a nice lip there that you can use to grab the product after, but make sure those lips are down. And a couple of key points. Make sure your loading isn't close to the skin because it'll feel funny or irritate. Keep it in the black areas where you're gonna load. And try not to put loads in areas that inhibit movement.